gonna, <clears throat> we're going to mount our solar panel to the top of our uh, vintage Santa Fe travel trailer. So I picked up a tube of this Cicaflex 252. It's an elastic adhesive. I heard it was recommended for what we're doing. And it even says here on the label that it's it is suited to bonding applications in the manufacture of trucks, trailers, and equipment. Sounds good to me, because that's what we're doing. Uh, super bad news, you want to wear your gloves, your um, glasses, don't inhale this stuff, nothing. You want to read the all the precautions on this stuff. It's a bad news stuff, but it's a good adhesive. So I got a couple pieces of 2x2 two two eighth angle that I cut to the size here, and I roughed up one edge, gave it some more surface area on each one. I'll go ahead and mount these to the edge of the panel. Um, pay attention to where your you're going to land on your roof because you've got the ridges on your roof and you want to, I want to, be on the top of the ridge, not down in the valley. So, let me get these mounted and we'll throw it up on the roof. We've got the angle iron clamped on to the solar panel here. And I marked three holes. One on center, one three inches from each edge. So I'll go ahead and through drill these and then we'll uh, get it bolted on. Three holes drilled all the way through. And I picked up some stainless hardware, got some quarter 20 by one hex bolts, six bolts, 12 washers, and six nylock nuts. I'm gonna get this installed. Hardware installed. Here's a look at the, the inside. Got our nylocks with the flat washers. So that gives us about a three quarter inch gap here for an air gap uh, all the way down the side for 46 inches on each side, so I think that'll be all right for ventilation. I've heard that you want to have um, You don't want the panel flat against the roof because you want to be able to have some air circulation in the back here to allow the panel to cool uh, Be sure you round your corners on your angle. You don't want the angle to have a sharp corner So it pokes a hole in your roof. That would be bad bad bad. All right I went ahead and put a loom clamp in right here to hold the wire harness from flopping around too much And that'll just keep these plugs under um, but that's just the way it's going to be mounted. And that'll keep this from pulling on this. These connections seem to be pretty sensitive, so I don't want that wire pulling around too much. One thing to think about um, mounting it with this hardware, once you have it mounted and these are glued to the roof, you're not going to be able to probably get to these um, if you ever have to take it off. But the, with using the adhesive, this is like a permanent, uh, this is going to be permanently adhered to the roof. So if it ever does have to come off, it's going to be a, for a big reason. And um, I would just, you know, have to take a cutoff wheel of these maybe. I don't know if it ever has to come apart. Make sure you throw some tape on your power leads coming off your panel. Because once you flip this thing up and it's facing the sun, it might get a little sparky. In case you're wondering, here's the info on this panel. It's a 200 watt panel, solar synergy. Uh, measurements are about 38 and a half, 39 by 45 and a half. So something to think about. Um, first of all, you want to make sure you clean your roof real good. I only cleaned it from about here to here, as you can tell, because all the pollen is still on the on the roof here. This is a brand new roof on our uh, Santa Fe. Uh, make sure that your roof can support the weight of this panel and the weight of you crawling around up here. Make sure you use your uh, all your safety equipment. When we did the restoration on this, we actually did a lot of strengthening in the whole roof uh, from on the inside, so it has some extra lumber in there. Definitely enough for this panel. I got it up here and marked uh, marked all my corners where I want to put my adhesive and. Uh, you can see what I'm talking about, how you want it to land on the high spot of the roof. So up, here's this nice high flat spot and down. I didn't want it to land down here in one of the valleys. So it's hanging off a little bit here, but it's equal on both sides. And I think that's enough surface area from here for three feet uh, for this stuff to stick. So make sure you got your gloves and your PPE. Let's get this stuff down. All, right, so all I did was put it up on a block like this, so I'll raise the sides, and I got my marks here, and I'll spread the adhesive 
down both sides slam it down there we go and instructions say you absolutely do not want to be breathing this stuff so make sure you're in a well ventilated area and uh, if you have to be inside it says that you have to wear a respirator all right here we go all right you got beads on both sides I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can uh, get this down step back to my original marks and don't be making fun of my dry erase marker marks that's all I got with me right now So what I'm doing, it's pretty thick stuff, so I'm pushing down uh, and giving it a little wiggle. Can we get it to spread a little? Oh, it's looking pretty good. All right, looking good. Um, that's the mounting. I'll go ahead and get the wiring done on the next video, but we'll end up probably cutting or drilling a hole about here, maybe about here, and then putting this guy on top here and feeding some wires in. All right, thanks for watching.